Hello fellow crafters. I am back today to show you how you can use Inkscape to make a reusable one-piece stencil. A lot of times when you make a stencil and you've got words, uh, you know, the little inside pieces of some of your letters, uh, think for example like a, a lowercase or capital B, you know, has the little inside pieces. Uh, a lot of times you lose those and um, and you're not quite sure, you know, how to get them put back in there, you know, just right. And, you know, maybe all of your uh, different pieces don't look exactly the same because, you know, you didn't place that piece exactly where it went each time. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily um, make any font that you want into a reusable stencil. So I'm in Inkscape here. And I'm going to come over here to the left of my screen. And I'm going to go ahead and add some text. And since I'm showing you how to do this with any font, I'm going to pick one of my favorites, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to use my last name. So here is my text. And first thing I need to do is go ahead and convert it to a path. So I've showed you before, you can either come up here and do object to path, or you can use your keyboard shortcut which is what I do, which is Control shift c Then I ungroup it all, which is Control shift g Or over here, the ungrouping is this little uh, circle with a rectangle. Or up here under Object, there's your ungroup with that same symbol. But I like the keyboard. It makes things faster for me. So shift Control g um, at this point, if you want to rearrange anything, you know, you can, um, but I usually just leave it where it's at. And then I union it or weld it all together, which is path union, or I use my keyboard, I hit control, and then the plus button and another plus button. So now I have a single path, you can see here, that I can go ahead and make into a stencil. So. To make a stencil, I'm going to add a rectangle, and you can see it's white. I'm just going to change the color of it by picking a color along the bottom. The color really doesn't matter, it just needs to be different from your other color, so you can see the difference. And I'm going to move that to the back. You can either do object, um, lower to bottom, or you can hit the end button on your keyboard, like that. And then I'm going to position it where I want it. Um, one thing I recommend is if you know that you're putting this on something that's, you know, 8 by 10 inches, well, go ahead and make this rectangle 8 by 10 inches. So I'm going to unlock this, and I'm going to make the width 8, or actually in this case 10, and the height 8. And then I'll lock that back up. And then I can take my... Uh, text here, what I'm going to be painting or, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be doing with it to make the stencil. And then I'm going to make that as big as, you know, I can or however much of that space I want to um, make. And then if I want it centered, I just select both of them. And then you can go to, I keep it over here, uh, pinned over here on the side, my Align and Distribute. Um, you can get to it by clicking on Object. Align and Distribute, and it'll pop it up for you. Uh, and I center it vertically and horizontally. So now I've got it in the center. So then, whenever I go to actually use my stencil, I just line up the edges of my stencil with the edges of what I'm putting it on, and then I know that my text is centered where it's supposed to be. All right, so the next thing to do is to go ahead and what we might say slice my words out of the stencil. So I'm going to select both. And I use the control and the minus button. Uh, or it's up here path and then difference. So you see it's control and the minus button. And so now I have the hole in my stencil. And a lot of times you stop here and then you go. But then you have, you'll notice like this piece of the A piece of the L's, the E, and then even like these pieces in here that will will not be attached to the main part of the stencil. 
So this is where I grab my little rectangle tool and I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to add little pieces right here so you can see and I'm going to change that color so you can see it good. Um, let's go with blue. So I added one there. I'm going to add one here and sorry add one here and if you want them to all be the same size you could just draw one and you could duplicate it uh, this is the duplication um, key over here on the right I use the control D or you can come up here to object um, maybe not object edit and duplicate um, so I'm going to duplicate this one and then you can put it right here and then I'm going to make another one from that one and make another one from that one make another one let's see put it right here put one right here and then right there so that should make all of these inside pieces attach to the outermost piece. So now what I do is I take those rectangles and I union them together with the background piece. So I selected them, I'm selecting the background, and again I'm using my shortcut Control plus plus, and then it welds it or unions it all together. So now this little what, what would have been an island is connected to the outside piece by the little bridge that I put in there. So I will no longer have an island. Now it's attached. So the inside piece uh, will not separate from the main piece of the stencil. And then once I'm done, you know, I put this on my wood or on my shirt, whatever I'm putting it on, I paint it. When I remove the stencil, then I just have to go in and hand fill in those little spots, um, you know, to connect where where the um, where those gaps are. But when I look at this, it looks like this one here. I don't quite like how it cut it, so I can hit undo, and I'm just gonna adjust this one a little bit. Mm, I think I'm gonna put it over here, like that just because I didn't like where it was. And then again, I can union it together again. And that's it. Now I'm done. So then you just save this um, as your SVG. So I would call this Allen Stencil. And you can do it as an Inkscape SVG or a plain SVG. Uh, the only difference is the Inkscape SVG keeps some, you know, metadata that a plain SVG doesn't, but both will upload into Cricut Design Space. Um, so you just save it, and then you're ready to upload it and cut it out. So I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful for how you can um, keep all of your pieces as one single piece for a stencil that maybe you want to reuse. Or even if you don't want to reuse it, you just don't want those pieces, you know, flapping around everywhere um, whenever you go to, to make your stencil and you're going to cut it out of vinyl. Uh, you know, it still works. Just remember after you've painted um, your stencil in and you pull the stencil off, then go ahead and fill those gaps, um, you know, by hand so that way your design is complete. So if you found this tutorial helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys. Happy crafting.